In this lesson we will examine Zener diodes. There are several variants of the basic diode. A common variation is called a Zener diode. It is essentially a diode fabricated to operate in the reverse breakdown region. The arrow in the symbol points toward the cathode in the opposite direction of the forward bias current or electron flow. To demonstrate the response of a Zener diode to a reverse polarity voltage, we may use the circuit shown. An important characteristic of a Zener diode is the avalanche point or breakdown voltage. Unlike the case with an ordinary semiconductor diode, if the breakdown voltage of a Zener diode is exceeded, no damage will be done to the component as long as its maximum current rating is not exceeded. The avalanche point or breakdown voltage of a Zener diode is fairly low. In this circuit, the Zener diode is reverse biased. Let's assume that variable voltage is applied to the input using a potentiometer. The variable voltage passes through a current limiting resistance, R sub s, before reaching the Zener diode, which is connected in parallel with the load resistance, R sub l. The internal resistance of the voltmeter and Zener diode can be neglected. Since the load resistance of R sub l is constant, changing the resistance of R sub s will control the voltage applied to the cathode of the Zener diode. When the input voltage starting from zero volts is increased to one volt, the voltmeter reads just under one volt. The small voltage drop is due to the resistor R sub s, which protects the Zener diode from excessive current flow. With a one volt or less reverse bias in the Zener diode, it does not conduct and, in effect, it looks like an open circuit. The load is constant and voltage V sub z across the load is maintained at a constant value. The same holds true if the voltage exceeds the breakdown value, typically about 6.8 volts. At this juncture, the reverse bias Zener diode begins to conduct. This is termed the avalanche point of the diode since the current flow rises from almost zero to a very high value. It is limited by the low internal resistance of the Zener diode and the external current limiting resistance, R sub s. The Zener diode sinks any input voltage greater than its reverse biased avalanche point to ground. Thus, it limits the voltage applied to the load, R sub l, to a constant. This circuit is also known as a regulator circuit. The voltage across R sub s is equal to V sub i minus V sub z. The current through R sub s is equal to V sub i minus V sub z divided by R sub s. In the worst case, the load resistor may not be present and all of the current will go through the Zener diode. Thus, maximum current in the diode is equal to V sub i minus V sub z divided by R sub s. If the power dissipation is to be less than the specified P max, then the maximum rated current in the diode is equal to P max divided by V sub z. So that P max divided by V sub z is equal to V sub i minus V sub z divided by R sub s. Or R sub s is equal to V sub z times V sub i minus V sub z divided by P max, which provides the minimum value of R sub s needed. In the voltage regulator circuit shown, let the Zener diode voltage V sub z equal to 150 volts and a maximum power dissipation of 1.5 watts. Assume that V sub i equals 220 volts and calculate the value of R sub s. For this value of R sub s, find the range of values for V sub i for which the circuit will function properly if the minimum current in the Zener diode is specified at 1.5 milliamps. Since P max is equal to 1.5 watts and V sub z is equal to 150 volts, the maximum rated current in the diode is P max divided by V sub z, or 10 milliamps. The largest current in R sub s is present when there is no load resistance and the diode current is at its maximum value. Thus, since I is equal to V sub i minus V sub z over R sub s, therefore R sub s is equal to V sub i minus V sub z divided by I, and R sub s is therefore equal to 7 k ohms. Considering the minimum specified current of 1.5 milliamp through the diode and when there is no load, I is equal to the diode current. And V sub I is equal to V sub Z plus R sub s times I or 160.5 volts. When the diode current is maximum, V sub I equals 220 volts. The circuit will therefore function best for a range of values of V from 160.5 to 220 volts. Percent regulation is a figure of merit used to characterize the performance of a voltage regulator. It is the change in output voltage for a given change in input voltage. Percent line regulation is equal to 
the delta voltage output divided by the delta voltage input times 100 percent. Also the percent load regulation is equal to the voltage at no load minus the voltage at full load divided by the voltage at full load times 100 percent. For example, a certain regulator has a no load output voltage of 8 volts and a full load output of 7.78 volts. What is the percent load regulation? The percent load regulation is equal to the voltage at no load minus the voltage at full load divided by the voltage at full load times 100% or 2.83%.